Hello again. I come back to you from my magical meditation realm here. All right. Yeah, we're going to play more magical uh, cards tonight. We got Merfolk on the line. Uh, let me just get this deck rented and then we will get started. Why is everything looks good? It's able to, yeah, I think I got the background to work kind of nice because I bought some uh, some nice um, camping lights. I don't want to pick them up because if I move them, I feel like it's going to mess up the background, but they're there and they're lighting it well enough that I think it works. So... Come on, mana traders. Why are we only at 36%? You should be able to do this faster. <laughs> it's kind of weird because I have to, like, turn off all my lights in here to, like, turn on these bright lamps in order for this to work correctly. So... It's like sort of bright in here, but it's also sort of dark at the same time. So, but that's what it takes in order to get the background to work correctly, apparently. <laughs> yeah, this is great. <laughs> Check it out. I love it. Or maybe I can find like a few different ones. Maybe we'll change it up from week to week, but. With this, the settings for the chroma key seems like it works really well. Oh, there we go. Uh, I would love to take the cards. Thank you, mana traders. Uh, where is it? There, oh, we got we got them all in the first try. Neat. Okay. Okay, here we go. Submitted. Excellent. Now we can put our deck together and then we can uh, play some magic. Come on. The bot is slow today. All right, we got it. Add deck. We're going to add fish. All right. Uh, how is it? Yeah, because this this is the first league I think we're doing since we switched over to Daybreak Games. So a lot of the settings in here have been all messed up. So no, uh, that's better, I think. Um. No, we definitely want this. Mm, I but I don't like this. Well, why I don't I? Oh, uh, you know no no no. This is fine. I I I got this. I have that fixed the sideboard. That's what's wrong with it. Ah, okay. Everything is always such an uphill battle, but we got it. Uh, and then I need to do this. And then I need to change the size of the cards so that people can actually see them. Oh yeah, there we go. That's looking much better now. Oh, oh, go back. There we go. Perfect. All right, we got us a list, and it's working, and uh, looks fine. All right. Everything seems like it's coming together finally. Okay, so yeah, here we go. This is what we're going to play today. Um, I know I'm probably a little bit controversial today because I'm only going to... I'm going to try playing with just three Spaloons because I wanted to 
I really wanted to jam a third force of negation in the main deck here. Since creativity is such a popular deck at the moment, I figured another force would be important. And I'm not really that sure that, that having multiple Spaloons is what we want against some of those decks. So I want to see if we can live with three. I've seen a couple people have experimented with it. I don't know if it's right or not, but I'm willing to give it a try. Because it lets us keep then our three Harbingers and three Dismembers to interact with those other decks too. Try to give us some balance here. Three Civ is the new way. <laughs> yes. Well, it might be. We'll have to see. So, And then it also lets us play four copies of all of our other important fishes too. So, I don't know. I think we're going to give it a shot and see how it goes. And then... Uh, we made some changes to the sideboard. I'm going to try some copies of Engineered Explosives here. Because I think that this is another card that can help us against creativity. Because they have to deal with it before they can combo. Uh, that Also, we're going to play two Mystical Dispute. Because I think that card is fine against... Um, I mean, it's like a three mana mana leak against some decks. But some uh, against certain spells, like it's going to be really good. Like... You know, it'll counter, like, the Prismari commands if they're using it to try to blow up, say, explosives or something. Is this Minecraft? No, this is not Minecraft. And I think you know that, though. This this is uh, Magic Craft. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, the Mystical Disputes are also going to be good against the Delver deck, and, or the Murktide deck, I should say. Because I don't actually think they play Delver in Modern. Um, uh, that and also uh, against the uh, Four Color Control. And also the regular blue-white control, because, like, that deck is still out there a lot, so. Uh, yeah, well, this, it just gives us more counter spells since, you know. I don't know if we ne necessarily need them, but I like having them, so we'll see. You think this is Minecraft? Okay. Alright, I see. It, it could be. I, I, there's not enough room in here. I don't, I have to go harvest resources from my backgrounds before I can build a house. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll have a house. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, I haven't I haven't built myself a house yet, though, so we'll we'll have to work on it. Other than that, everything else is basically the same shell. So uh, let's just go and play. All right. I don't have to drag this on forever. Let's go play our modern league. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yep, everything is correct. Let's go. Don't ruin it for you. How, how could I possibly do that? <laughs> yes, we need all the good luck. All right, let, let's see if we can uh, harvest some resources. Oh, yeah, you know what? You're right. It is Roblox. I just launched the wrong game by mistake. <laughs> oh, what, what are we, what are we going to do? Well, we're stuck playing Roblox now, so... <laughs> All right. Um. Okay, that's fine. I I want to check to make sure. I because if I switch to this, I want to make sure that this is sized right. All right. But I like to keep the chat up. So. All right. We are on the draw. It looks like as soon as our opponent decides. All right. There we go. Ah, uh, this hand is fine. We're gonna keep it. Okay. Like, we have a very nice, aggressive hand, so. Can easily if Oh, fuck, we're up against Scam, aren't we? Okay, well, if they're starting with Thoughtseize, then that's gotta be fine for us. They mold to six. Uh, and I mean, it doesn't really matter that much what they take here. It's not gonna change our plan at all. We just need to play as many creatures as we can as quickly as we can. Like, I imagine that the Thought Seas will probably take, like, Lord of Atlantis. They always take fucking Lord of Atlantis. Like, that's the that's the one card that, like, all of the Magic players know. It's like, okay, Merfolk, Lord of Atlantis is the card that they play, right? So we gotta take that one. It's always been my experience. Like, if the opponent has to choose a card, like, like... The, the one that, like, all things, everything, like, equal, if they have to pick a card and it doesn't really make a huge difference what they pick, they will pick Lord of Atlantis. 
same thing with like cabal therapy and legacy like i would always play against people who are like i don't know any of the cards in merfolk but i know lord of atlantis and i'm gonna pick lord of atlantis <laughs> it's like yeah but th that's when they don't like want to take like force of will for instance so if they know that they're naming a creature that they want to get rid of the pressure they'll pick lord they don't know that Master of the Pearl Trident or like Merfolk Trickster or Silver Gill Adapter cards. They definitely probably don't know like this one in either of those formats. They just know Lord of Atlantis. <laughs> so. Alright, what's their opponent to do here? They can't dash a Ragavan. That's not going to work, so. And on our turn, we're probably just playing this Master of the Pearl Trident. Um, I think we want to keep the tricksters here just because in case they like at some point hard cast a grief like we want to be able to tap them down um, I guess the other concern is that they might have fury as well so like if I play the master I guess they kind of yeah they probably have to use it are oh, they gonna inquisition me okay well you know if they don't play a land then I might be inclined to tide shaper their land so that's possible They took Master of the Pearl Trident. Okay, they do have another land. Alright, well. So, yeah, they took the two lords. I can only play one thing this turn anyway. I feel like maybe I'm supposed to, to hit this Black Cleave Cliffs. I mean, I could... I don't think I want to be playing this plus Trickster next turn, right? Do I? I don't know. It's, it could be bad to do that because of uh, stuff like Fury, whereas at least if I play this now, then can force them to use, like, an individual removal spell first, so... And it makes Fury less good. So maybe... They, I don't know. It's possible they don't have, like, a... Oh, are you fucking kidding me again with this? I, I clicked it. I did not kick the spell. God damn it. Ugh. That's, that is so bad. I can't believe I screwed that up. I, I like, have to right-click it and cast it with the kicker, because I can't just click the card. I think we did that once last time. I don't know how to get my game, like, chat to show up. Oh, wait, here. This one. Chit chat. Um, by Trickster, after they uh, give it Undying, I believe that that will work, yeah. I missed out on a free damage there. And then next turn, I'm going to miss out on two damage from not islanding this thing. Is this Jund? Is that what, like, what's the Overgrown Tomb all about? Oh, Ren and Six. Look. And now I'm going to get super punished for this, look, because it, just because I fucking didn't hit this stupid thing when I had the opportunity. This thing, could, like, would not have been able to kill a Tide Shaper. Like, I just, like, threw away this entire game because of that. Why? What? This is not how I needed to start off my night with a misclick on the new client. No, I'm too worried about getting everything set up to look pretty, and I'm not paying enough attention to like making sure that we're casting everything right. You might minus it to kill this thing, and I guess like it's not the end of the world if that's what happens, but. I should not have had both of these things die. Okay. Alright, that's actually pretty good. Huh. 
I don't need, I don't think I need to play this just yet. Like, I'm not going to save this thing. I could have swung both at the Ren and Six, but I don't want to walk my board in front of a Fury just yet. I want to make them think about using more removal in this thing. Or at least if they downtick Ren and Six, then I might be able to just catch them at this time. Um, well, that sucks because that's, I guess I could use both of these things to counter it. I guess if they pay for this, then I'll just play the trickster and then... Okay, so that's I it's not good, but I guess uh they can kill it now. Unless they have exactly one more like lightning bolt or something. Well, that's pretty good. All right. All right, let's see if we can do it now. If it resolves first. No, 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 we'll see. If they have a fatal push, then they have to kill this before this resolves. So this tells us what's in their hand. But they also might want to save it and use it on the Svaloon. So they can either kill Svaloon or they can protect Ren and Six, but they can't do both. And then we're both drawing off the top, so... They are opting to throw away Ren and Six. I mean, this looks like this could just be Jun, or I I don't know if like if the scam deck plays any green sources. I I don't know if they like do this. Maybe, but I, it kind of looks like maybe this is just Jun. I mean, if it is, we're not in a terrible spot. They might just have Fatal Push as their last card. No, they don't. Then I think it could have been a mistake to do this. Unless they're hoping to, like, hard cast Fury or something. Okay, well, we might be in a better spot than we think. Alright, well, let's attack, I guess. Draw our card. Oh, that's a really good one. This is a Jun deck. Okay. Um... I guess I'm going to keep the island in my hand just in case of, like, Culligan's command. So they can't make me discard whatever I draw for my turn. Okay, we won. You know what? We won despite, like, starting off really poorly. It's Jund has Liliana and Urza Saga. Yeah, like, okay, so you, you think it's, like, regular Jund. I, I kind of agree with you that it looks like that to me, too. Okay, there is no, this is not acceptable. need this way bigger than this so everybody can see all right uh oh go back all right I'm returning uh i think i keep this one as a God damn it go back i don't want i want this God. all 
I think I do this because it's easier to sideboard this way. Um, all right. Uh, so it's Jun, so we probably want Relic of Progenitus. And there's not really a whole lot else. Like Normally this is the sort of deck where I don't like Force that much. I do have Ren and Six, though, which is probably like worth countering, but it still like is not something I really want to deal with. So Force is typically not that great against them, but they do have um, Planeswalkers. I don't think the I think the Tide Shapers are probably necessary because of the sagas, but uh, maybe the Harbingers are not that great. It's hard to say. I mean, the dismembers are probably fine. Do, do, do. Take out Harbinger. I mean, Hexcatcher sort of gives us some redundancy against, like, Liliana's and stuff, so. So I don't really, like, care for the forces that much, but I do think countering the Planeswalkers is going to be more relevant than to us now than it was in the past. Uh, sure, we'll keep this. The yeah, problem is, like, they do have a lot of discard spells, so, like, it's not that hard for them to just, like, rip away our force if it matters. They have mulliganed again, so that's good for us. Okay, they haven't done anything on turn one, so that's good. Um... Kinda don't want to play the Tide Shaper here. I think I'm just gonna play the Island and pass. I would rather hold on to this because it looks like maybe they're just gonna try to play Ren and Six. They, I mean, it as a one-one, it doesn't really do a lot of good anyway. But like the other option is holding holding it to blow up an Urza Saga as well. So we'll see. I think it's fine to pitch it. Yeah, they're they're playing fucking Ren. Tarmogoyf. Okay, well, I'm not scared of that whatsoever. Sure. Uh, Mr. Goyf, that's uh, my good friend Merfolk Trickster is a thing. Let's play the Lord first. We gotta exhaust some of the removal before we can successfully get them with Trickster. Then maybe next turn I will play the Odawara and a Tide Shaper, leave up the Trickster, and then try to like... Um, counter it that way. Yeah, we are not doing this. Do you not want to deal with Lily? In the past, like, I've definitely sided Force out, but I feel like their walkers matter a little bit more now than they have before, so... Alright, I'm going to play this. I'm going to play Tide Shaper. Because now, if the Tarmogoyf attacks me, they have to have two removal spells in order to save it. It's going to become a 0-1, so... See, they have four cards. It's, it's conceivable they could have two. Um... Alright, well, I guess we're not going to get them with the Trickster. So, in that case... I mean, I could just tap it down now. They haven't played a land yet. Um, I mean, whatever they take, like, it's not great. But, I mean, if, if they see our hand and... We can still cast a creature this turn no matter what. Um, if they take, if they take, like, Lord of Atlantis, then, you know, we can always cast the Trickster. They're not going to attack us, obviously, if we, if they take, if they don't take the Trickster, so. I think we'll just let them choose something, because I don't think it matters a whole lot, and. There's not, I don't see any huge advantage to, like, definitely playing Trickster right now. If they take it, like I said, we can just play Hexcatcher and it's still kind of fine. So we're still capable of racing them pretty well. 
Like, it's not really that great of an attack, to be honest, so. We'll take four, but we flash in Hexcatcher and play Lord next turn, and, like, it's a lot of damage. Uh, that thing is Shadow, so it's not going to be blocking us. Uh, so, 4, 8. I can attack them for 11, and, like, they only have 2 cards, and it's very high chances that we kill them. Like, they can't use the peat land and a fetch land. So, it's possible they might not have an, an extra mana here. Okay, they abrupt decay one thing, but they're still dead. They just lose. All right. <laughs> we had a, a very rough, like, first couple turns versus the Jund deck, but managed to beat regular Jund because they just did not have, like, Urza Saga loops to deal with. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, the Mirror Breaker, yeah, um, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Fable is really, is really, uh, powerful, for sure. A lot of decks that play that, like, that card is disgustingly strong, I think, and especially in Pioneer. I don't think that it, I think that it's probably in, like, the Danger Zone in Pioneer, because I get the feeling that it, if there's, like, a watch list, it's probably on it, so. Kahira the Orphan Guard means that this is the, what, like, the four-color deck, I think? Or this could be, I think it has to be, like, the Omnath deck, right? Yeah, it's free for them to play this. Um, I guess this hand is okay against that, but it's not, like, fantastic. All right. We're just hoping that they don't have, um... That's not exactly what I wanted to draw here. I need more creatures, not lands. Yeah, like, they're very likely they're just going to try to jam Ren, and then we have to force it. Unless they, if they don't have Ren, then they probably have, like, Teferi, I'm guessing. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Okay, um, let's play them in ammo, and uh, we'll play the Aether Vial. Kind of wish that I had that a little earlier, but whatever. They play Teferi, we just have to force it. That's all that there is to it. We're like very likely gonna play Spaloon next turn, so I mean they probably there's a good chance they could have had like Leyline binding up for this turn, so. No, they just put Kahira in hand. Okay, maybe they're on like an Omnath hand. That's actually really bad for us if their hand is all, like, about Omnath, because we don't have a Dismember at the moment. Um, well. We might have to use this Odawara in order to bounce Omnath. I think. What are you doing? Just passing? Okay. I don't understand. Well, let's get in with Spaloon, I guess. I, uh, I guess there's some possibility that they could have, like, Solitude. Well, I mean, the good news is we can still deploy a ton of stuff. We just, I don't, I don't know what, why they shock themselves. Besage you on this? Do I actually care about the vial right now? Like, I don't think that I do that much. I mean, okay. Sure. 
doesn't seem to be a very good use of a Seiju to me. They shocked themselves for that turn too, which I found interesting. Oh god, no. We're fighting against fucking Ris like Risen Reef. Alright, we're fucked. <laughs> we are so fucked. Uh... Um, okay. Alright, well, I, I want to do this before they play their land for the turn, so... I guess if they try to go for Ephemerate nonsense, then... They're going to have to pay the tax unless they hit Spaloon. They're not going to be able to ephemerate it, but... So I will have to force. Okay, I mean... They pitched the... Kahira, right? Okay. I mean, Spaloon's going bye-bye, I guess. Um, yeah, hell the fuck no to this. Um, I need this to go away. It's not exactly what I was hoping for here. No, this is this match is like this is the really bad version of this for us. So uh, I don't know how lucky we're gonna be with this. I think I have to cast this Harbinger of the Tides. Unfortunately, I don't want to let them draw more stuff, but at the same time, like it uses a bunch of their mana, so. They're just going to crack, like, fetch lands, so. There is Omnath. Yeah, he's going to have a bajillion mana, I guess. That was also inevitable. We, I don't think we can, like, reasonably beat this. Like, it's too, too late. Like, they have in, infinite cards in, in their hand at this point, and, like, they're going to gain infinite mana and, like, infinite life. We, we are, like, basically in concession territory. <laughs> the Like, the normal four-color control version, like, we can kind of beat because they rely on a lot of Planeswalkers. This version is just playing, like, all fucking Elementals, and, like, none of them are good for us. Yeah. Um, alright, you know, I'm... I should, I should, like, uh... Th this is... Yeah, we're, we're just kind of screwed here. I, I I don't think there's anything I can possibly draw that's like not gonna result in my death. <laughs> I can't like attack through this and at any given point where you're vulnerable to them just blinking this thing again. Uh God. I have no plan. I guess, like, I can bounce this with Odawara, and, like, or I can tap this now, but. This is. Like, I don't think they're going to trade here, but. Okay, I mean, that's, that's not really good news for us if they do this, because in. Probably means they have another one. I mean, there's the Risen Reef, yeah. I guess I have to do this now. Before a land comes into play. Because now if they want to play it, they're going to have to actually play the fetch land first.
Yes, and expressive iteration, of course, because like that, it just couldn't possibly get worse for us if we tried. <laughs> they have another land. Yeah, they just play it. They're at six cards in hand. We have one card, and we know that one of the cards is Omnath. And... Okay, well... We're trying, I guess. I don't know why. Oh my god, you know what? I'm just done. There, that's it. There, there's nothing... There's no way that, like, we're defeating this. Okay. If we want, like, any possible chance of beating them, I think I need subtlety. Um... I kind of have to aggro them out. That's like Harbinger is not very good here. I don't think Silvergill is either. No, like this deck is this is a nightmare matchup for us because they're just playing like a ton of um stuff that we can't really interact with because we don't have Force of Will in this format. Even Subtlety is not very good because they can just like do it again the following turn and still like ephemerate it on us, so Ugh, it's 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 not pleasant. Um, guess I could bring in mystical dispute, but like it's it counters Omnath, so there's that. I don't. I want to keep some counter spells that can counter like Ren and Six as well. So I think they probably do have some number of planeswalkers, but they're not as like dependent on them as like the the regular four color is. Okay, well that's ass. Um this is not really much better. Okay. Like, this is not a match where we're going to grind them out with creatures, like... <laughs> they're just going to play a bunch of threats that uh, we can't deal with, and their threats remove all of our stuff. Uh, Merfolk, I guess. And our, the only thing that, like... I guess if they play Ren and Six, I can use the Hexcatcher to counter it this turn. Otherwise, I just flash in a Trickster. Doesn't look like that's a thing we have to worry about right now. This deck, I think, does play Teferi Time Raveler, so... that We do have to be worried about that. Okay, Leyline Binding on Trickster, I'm not that worried about. I guess we have to play this and hope that, like, they don't play Teferi. Risen Reef would not really be great, but what are you going to do? Oh, Leyline Binding on this, okay. Still not good for us, but... And it's only going to take them, like, one Solitude to kill us. I can't really, like, afford to counter this. That's unfortunate. I don't think they have a lot of lands here, but at the same time, like, they all the spells in their hand are, like, action, so... And I'm sure they can probably cast a bunch of them for free. Uh, Veil of Summer is not really great. Um, we just have to play the creatures and hope. Okay, they're just cycling it for a card. That's that could be worse. 
You know what? Maybe I should have responded to Veil with that. No, I guess no, it shouldn't matter because they could still do it now if they had it. Uh, okay, well, that's a plus. Now I, I just, I don't know. We need to, like, kind of just rip subtleties while they just play elemental spells or something. Like, if they tap out for Omnath, that would be really good. I mean, I guess, sure. It's not really the one that concerns me at the moment. Kind of feels like they're gonna do it now. Leyline binding. Uh, I can cast force, but then I'm not casting anything else. No, I guess they're just gonna have to do it. We get to attack them for one. Their hand is just lining up so well against us this game. Who thought this was a good idea to print into a format that's like overrun with four colors? Like, I don't understand how. Why? They just gave up? They're not actually dead to this, like... I don't understand why they conceded. Like, they... Okay, sure. They could have been dead to this, but there was no guarantee of that. Okay, whatever. I'll take it, I guess. That, that came out of nowhere. I mean, I guess I have to keep this, right? not terribly great i thought i was losing too and like apparently they just like gave up for it seemingly out of nowhere <laughs> don't ask me to explain it because i can't i might have to keep i don't know uh this might be a game where i need to keep master of the pearl trident in my hand I don't know. Ideally, we draw another two drop. That would be great. Uh, that actually is pretty good. Okay. Um, hmm. We might just see like lightning bolt or something. Um, likely to play hex cat like. It could be bolt or something. I don't. They maybe they don't have anything for this turn. They might have something in their turn. All right, I'll play the master here. Not sure how good hex catcher is going to be yet. Nothing. Okay, that's good. I don't know if I'm supposed to burn a subtlety here yet or not. I am definitely supposed to counter this though. Uh, and I think I actually get rid of the Hex Catcher. Because I feel like subtlety is going to be more important. You know, we're not doing that. However, I can play Spheloon this turn. I prefer to draw a land so I don't have to play that. Alright, well I guess the Odawar has to come out. Um... Okay, well, if they play Omnath, I think I have to subtlety it here. And hopefully draw a land so I can then do it again. Uh, Fury, okay, that definitely requires me to do this.
they don't have that many red cards to pitch for Fury, so they put it on the bottom, which is interesting here. All right, that's kind of good for us. All right, Risen Reef is not the end of the world. So I we just need to draw a land here, and then we will actually be in pretty good shape. Fucking Sphaloon. All right. Attack. You need to find me a land right now. Jesus Christ. Okay. I guess we're probably going to have to pitch this other uh, subtle, or this other Spaloon to subtlety. What, what if they exile? They exiled an Omnath. Okay, that's what's important. Okay. Um, I think I just trickster this thing right now. So I don't want to give them free stuff. Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright, um, I can't do anything about that. They get one trigger off of it for free. It means I can't play, like, Omnath this turn. And they burned an Ephemerate, so they are less likely to be able to do any Ephemerate tricks right now. Oh my god, they just gave up opponent! Why? You... I think they still had a chance. I don't know, we were attacking for 7, right? So, they could they could block the Master... I, what are their last 3 cards? Are they just, like, all really bad? Fuck, okay... We we won one of our worst matches. That that is mind numbing to me. Like I I cannot fathom how that happened. All right, well we tried and just barely got there. <laughs> I think that they definitely conceded a little bit too early though, in both games. Like they should have stuck it out for at least one more turn. Maybe their hands were just really that bad. All right. But I, I'll take it, I guess. Um, I guess I'll take this, too. Why is it that when I cut a fucking Spaloon from my deck, I still have hands with two of them? God damn it. <laughs> the whole point of playing three was so I don't have hands where I have, like, multiple Spaloons. Oh, no. All right. Uh, this is definitely a scam, isn't it? It has to be, right? I think Scam plays this, and they, yeah, they, they're going Thought Season this, so... I think they take Dismember. That makes sense. If, they, if they're going to go for, like, Ragavan next turn or something, they, I would take this card. If... Yeah, okay. So we probably need to play Tide Shaper here just to have a blocker for Ragavan. I did have subtlety to pitch, yeah, so, I mean, that is, that was helpful. Alright. Okay, this this looked very scammy to me, so. Dothy Voidwalker, yeah, okay. Well, the thing is, I can't, I guess I need to play the Master here. I just kind of have to hope that Fury's not a thing. Like, if Fury is a thing, then I'm screwed no matter what. So I have to just hope that it's not. If I can play this other Master, I will be in actually very good shape, though. Because then Fury can't just erase my board. Not by itself. Unless they, uh, they'd have to be able to do the trick. And they need three of their four cards to line up for that. So, yeah, you have to attack, right? Because you can't block and I can't block it, so... Nope, Verdant Catacombs. Okay. You just getting, like, another Blood Crypt, or what? Or is this Jund again? It could be Jund. That's possible. Oh, no, I think we're screwed. Okay, there's Fury is going to kill off both of my creatures now. So, if they have the Undying thing, then I think we're just lost. But otherwise, like, we might have a chance. 
Yeah, okay, it's scam, and we got fucking scammed. <laughs> no! They took our fucking dismember. We can't even get rid of this thing. Oh, my God. It's going to just kill us. 4-4 four, four double striker, as the Sveiloon is not going to be enough to slow this thing down. <sighs> we have, like, one turn to draw a dismember with Sveiloon. So they're gonna attack us for like eleven here, and yeah, if I don't if I don't draw it right now, I'm just screwed. So, so I won't be able to cast it. Okay. Otherwise, I have to like throw bodies in front of this thing, and I don't really want to do that. Um, I guess I may as well play the master first, get the extra damage in. I mean, I could play both of these and attempt to block this thing, but I don't know. I think I I think I'd rather um if I draw a land like then I can play Tide Shaper and then I don't turn this thing off. They need they 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 need five lands in play to make this work. The the yeah I, sitting back with Spaloon and blocking this is not an option because of the Void Walker. Oh God, yeah you, know, you know what? No, Dismember's not even an option because of the Void Walker. So like I don't know. I guess we need like Trickster or something. Okay, so yeah, we're running out of options real quick here. All right, like I don't I don't know how we're going to like get through this, but uh it's not likely. Oh, uh, you know what? We can untap Spaloon and block, but that's yeah, that's still not great. I have to, I have to throw something in front of this. I don't know what it's going to be just yet. Uh, I guess if I turn this into an island, I can block with Master here and then pray that I have a plan. Maybe I can draw Trickster for this next turn. Sure. Okay. But I, yeah, I think that that's my best route here is to... I think we need to, oh, okay we're, we're we're just screwed <laughs> they just had another fury and they exile the third one are you kidding me with this they can pay for the war like okay i mean sure you got it that is insane we got like scammed and they had like a, a third fury like oh god <laughs> so bad all right how do we deal with this? Um, I guess Relic helps us a little bit, and that's about it. Like, overall, this is just really bad for us. Uh, we need to keep Dismember. Infinite Furies, indeed. Like, the problem is, like, Subtlety's not even that good because the... It's, I guess it's okay, but it, it's... I don't know, I, Harbinger's probably... I think we need to take that out. Um, or you know what? Like, uh, Silver Gill Adept is also really, really weak here, too. I could bring this in, but uh, it's it's hard to say. I don't want to be bouncing their creatures, really, but at the same... like, and so Silver Gill is extremely vulnerable to Fury. I need to keep the one drops because of Ragavan. I think I need this just to have a chance against, like... Turning off the graveyard. I'm pretty sure that we want Spaloon here just in case, like, we survive the onslaught. Spaloon is one of the ways that can potentially win this game. Uh, Force of Negation might not be worth it either. Maybe we just do this. I guess we have to decide. Yeah, like, eh, this is okay, I guess. All right, this is how we're going to do this. I would love to play first. Um, I guess it's a I guess it's okay, but if they start with like grief, then that's going to be real bad. Okay. So this is what we have to do here. Well, they kept what seven cards here, so that's not good news. 
Okay, well, that, that's somewhat good news, right? Okay. Let's get our extra card while we still can. Sure, they know about Lord of Atlantis. Okay, I mean, this is getting better. Still really vulnerable to, like, Fury, though. They're not doing anything yet that's surprising. I feel like if I play Lord here, then they're just going to go for Fury, but that might actually be okay, because I could subtlety that thing. I'll pitch the hex catcher on like when they go to do fury. So there's a very strong possibility they if they have fury and they're gonna try to go for that, then they just won't kill this thing. Or if they kill this now, then that's also like I guess that's probably a sign to me that they don't have fury. So why would they keep this seven? Like it seems really like it's not doing a whole lot. What are you doing with this? Fable? I mean, yeah, that's... I'm not thrilled about Fable, but... Uh, okay. I just attack if they block with the token, I flash in Hexcatcher. Well, I'm going to flash it in no matter what they do, but at least they might lose their token here, so. Okay. So goodbye, Shaman token. If I need to, I can pitch the Hex Catcher to Subtlety this turn and then re Subtlety them again next turn. That's the hope, anyway. This card two lands, draw two cards. I mean, what are you going to do with this? They might hard cast grief. Engineered explosives for two. That's really bad. I mean, I guess I should sacrifice... Uh... I guess I have to sacrifice one of these creatures to this thing, right? So that way they can't use it this turn. Can get at least one more attack in. Um, can keep five damage on board. Because they're going to die anyway, so at least I may as well get an attack in. Explosives was a good draw. But we might. This is. It could be worse. It definitely could be way worse here. So we got some damage in. It's going to cost them two mana here if they want to uh, use this thing. Uh, I think I. Oh, okay, well, that's good for us. All right. We want definitely want to subtlety this. I'm still protected from a scam. I can also safely attack with this and uh, just flash in Hex Catcher to kill it, basically. So. so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Um... Well, they, they, it'll still force them to crack the explosives in their turn, so I should, probably should do it. That's assuming they block. There's a very strong chance they just might not block. Uh, 
Um, I mean, I guess I'm okay if they trade this, right? My plan can just be to flash in another subtlety here. Hope that they just play like a grief or something that I can just use subtlety on. I need them to like tap out again, so. Okay, they're going to evoke this thing. Well, this is why we were doing this. We win. Excellent. They give up in the face of subtlety. <sighs> They kept a, they kept seven, but their seven was kind of slow and clunky, and it ended up working out for us. So that was oh, that was a plus. Uh, all right, okay. Well, they're gonna be on the play this time. Is there anything I do differently here? I don't know if there's a whole lot that I can reasonably change. None of the rest of these cards are like that good. I guess force is like okay, can counter. Um, Theoretically, if they go for, like, turn one Fury, we can, like, stop them from doing that. But, uh, outside, like, it's also, it's not very good overall because of the discard spells. It can counter Fable, but that's still, like, not that great for us. If, so, I think I just run this back and pray. It's another one of our really bad matches, and, uh, stealing a game here helps a lot. Alright, um... I guess I'm going to keep this and then just pray that this dismember is relevant. If they start with like Ragavan, that's okay. Because now I can dismember it. That's also very good. Okay. Pass. Okay. Uh, beginning of combat, we're just going to kill it. Okay. Well, they can't attack this turn anyway, so. I'm probably just doing the same thing again this turn, because I don't really have a better plan. Just hope that they don't have another one of these. Fuck. All right. It's going to come back again. Well, the only good news is that Sveiloon is going to get to be in play before this Ragavan attacks me. So that's somewhat helpful. Assuming they don't have, like, Terminate here. Which is a very real possibility. All right. No Terminate. That's Terminate. God damn it. Fuck Ragavan. This card is such bullshit. Oh my god. They took my relic too. That is, again, just not fair. We have drawn complete air this entire game as well, which is, again, horse crap. <laughs> I have two cards, like... Presumably their removal. Um, may as well play it. I think they know I don't have anything. So. Oh my god! It's just this is insane. Sure. I mean, cool. Like they got me. It's, this deck scammed us again. <laughs> like I, I can't overcome this. I've already used two of my dismembers, and like I'm already dead. So, all right, we're at six. We're not beating this. <laughs> that is frustrating. We had like an okay start versus them, but just they had like literally everything we needed. The Ragavan into two Undyings into, like, Terminate start to just, like, completely just nut crush us. <laughs> oh, well. 
What do you, like, yeah, I, I don't think that matchup is fixable. Like, I don't think that there is a single thing that we can, like, put on our 75 that is going to, like, make that reasonable. It's really just based on the mercy of whatever 7 that they kind of keep. And if we get lucky, we can kind of push through it, but otherwise it's just bad. Oh, uh, well. Uh, it's magical the gathering cards. <laughs> This is why I want, like, Force of Will in this format, because if we're going to have free spells that do stuff like that, we should have free spells that actually counter them. Uh, I guess I keep this. It's not, like, fantastic by any means. I don't really want to have to use this Force at any point, but it would be... I guess if our opponent, like, starts with, like, a Ragavan or something, Dismember will look really good. And play Silvergill and hopefully draw a card. They have mold to six. Okay. Okay. Island go. Oh my god. The, again? Okay, well there's Ragavan, and this time it is definitely going to die. We're playing... This, this has to be like scam again, right? There's no way it's not. Uh, I think in this case we want to play Mutavault here, and we're going to play Silvergill. Next catcher's not bad, but probably, I don't know, we probably need a little bit more than that right now. Okay, yeah, now this is definitely Scam again, so. I can't block this turn. Oh, that's sort of nice. Um... Cavern, it does not matter that much. I guess I could just attack for four here. This seems like the best thing to do. I don't want to, like, commit more stuff in the face of, like, potentially Fury. And I'm probably force pitching force if they play, like, Fable. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that is going to suck. Okay. Um. If this thing, like, attacks me again, I am dead. So... What do I do here? Uh, I think I, I think I have to discard the two forces. I play Harbinger, bounce this, and play like Hex Catcher, and then attack for three. I can take one more hit from this thing, but like it's it's not good. Still very vulnerable to like Fury, but we're also vulnerable if they're playing something like Unearth. If they, like, unearth this and attack me, or play, like, another one of these, then we are in deep shit. Alright. I think it has to be the two forces, though. It's not ideal. Um, we have to play the Cavern of Souls. And I think I... I probably have to bounce this. The only question is whether I play the Hex Catcher or not. So I could attack with the Mutavault and put them to 10. Uh, the problem is going to be if I play the Hex Catcher, then Fury's going to kill three creatures if they do it. So that would be insanely bad for us. But I don't think we're winning if they have Fury, so... Probably cannot respect that line, so I think like 99% here we just have to cast Harbinger. So the question is... We bounce that, let's see, like if this attacks us, we go to 1. Um, we can put them down to 10 here, and from there that's not quite enough to kill them if they have a Lord. Or if, if we draw a Lord, right? 
So I'm not sure if that's we'd be at one and we could put them to one, but like still be in a lot of danger because like the void walker could potentially kill us if i play the hex catcher i can attack for three so it's probably worth doing that instead Yeah, next turn, then, you know, if we draw a lord now and they just have nothing, then we could actually kill them. But if they just play Fury, we're like, we're sunk, so what are you going to do? I have no answer to a Fury, so. Like, another Skelemental is, is kind of fine, because it means we can rip a lord off the top. Oh, they're going to terminate this. Okay. Um, I guess this means that they are going to unearth this thing, so. I guess sacrifice it to itself. Inquisition. Oh, that's a miss. All right. Inquisition is a miss. So the question is, do they have fury? Um, no. Okay, they have two cards left, and it's not Fury, so that's good. Alright, they're at five. This is the best we can reasonably hope for right now, so... Den is one blocker, but one blocker is not enough. They need to have more than one. Okay, well... Might be okay. We have to just go for it. If they crack the fetch land, then... Yeah, okay, so we got there. Yeah, I was going to say, if they crack the fetch land, then two creatures getting through kills them. So it's not clear how they were going to win that otherwise. Okay, well... Um, all right, we need the relics again. Jeez, that was scary. <laughs> Harbinger would be pretty good against stuff like Skelemental, but at the same time, it's kind of dangerous. Um, I don't know if we're going to get to live long enough to bounce it. I think we do want subtlety. We can probably take the force out. We have to take out three creatures here. I think this time, like, the Harbinger has a little bit more utility if they're on Skelemental. Because potentially, like, we can delay them with subtlety and then maybe Harbinger can come out and do something. But it, even that doesn't seem likely. Trickster tapping it down is a much better plan. I think we just get rid of Harbingers again. Forest Phelon and three vials? I don't know, maybe. I mean... I, I don't think we can get away with that, as we know we need one drops, but it's not an insane thing to consider because, ah, oh, fuck me. Look at, we have two Spaloons again, and we still have to mulligan because we don't have any blue lands, but like, come on, Spaloon. It, what? All right, uh, we have to keep this. I guess we just get rid of Cavern of Souls. Well, they're on six cards, so I'm going to keep this, and we'll get rid of Cavern. Hope that they're on a Ragavan start, because we can actually beat that. Looks like they are not, so... Um, I guess we just play Island Pass. Now, I was going to say, um, it's not insane to consider three vials, because, like, Banth Spirits for a long time was only playing three vials, because, but the, that's also because they were playing Collected Company in their deck, so... The vials are not great with Coco. But they were also playing stuff like Noble Hierarch that supported that. So, like, 
depending on your build, like, it's not insane for there to be a Vile deck that doesn't play, um, or I should say that, that does play, um, I feel like I need Trickster this turn or I'm going to lose. Because they're going to Skelemental me. I can feel it. Yeah, they cycle on Earth. Okay, so I knew that that was a thing. Yeah, it's it's not insane to like build a vile deck that only has three vials, but for us, I think we definitely need to have all four. Season Pyromancer. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Okay, I can't really stop that. Um. God, I hate this so much. All right, I guess I just have to play Trickster here. Play the Muta Vault. So we're going to have to play Silvergill Adept this turn because we can't, like, and we'll hold up Dismember, but... Yeah, they're not going to block, so... Play Silvergill, show the Hex Catcher. Well, that's not a bad draw. Generally, I'm if I'm paying for life or dismember, that's probably a good thing. Uh, Inquisition away, like you're not taking both of my dismembers. Which means they might take Hex Catcher just because of that. Yeah, they know. They know what's up. I don't have to give them favorable blocks either. Croxa is in the graveyard, so that we do have to be concerned about that. Um, Odawara might help us a little bit against that. Collective Brutality. They're going to take away my Dismember, so I, I can't do anything about that, so... This deck is just playing more like classic Rakdos rather than like the scam deck. So, so there's Ragavan. So probably have to kill Ragavan. Like this is a card that like needs to go away. They have no cards left. So if we draw Relic, this would be great. Okay. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> Uh, is now their Croxa goes away, and now we actually have hope. That was also a pretty good draw, too. Relic was, like, our only good draw. Because <laughs> otherwise, Croxa would have come out and, like, just ruined us. So they have one card in hand. Uh, what is it? Lightning. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You top deck this shit. God damn it. We're we're like very close to just dead from that. Alright, we well, I guess we're not casting the dismember anyway. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, um I'm gonna have to like block this thing this turn, right? Probably. Okay, I guess we'll just turn off a Blood Crypt. I, I need them to draw a land. Uh, hold on. <laughs> what a what a top deck! That was fantastic. I guess like we don't have to like yeah we don't have to block this thing. I can block a token here. Okay, that was good. Because now this means if we draw a Lord, we actually just win the game. Fantastic. Like, I'm not blocking Season Pyro. You may as well attack with it. I'm taking the chance, because I, if I draw Island's Walk, I just play it, and then they're dead. They have no cards. Like, we have Island's Walk, so... Come on, one time! Uh, it's pretty close. They might actually do it, right? Okay... Okay, um, I think I still have to just attack with everything. Uh, because they're going to lose their board. They can't do this this turn, so. If they block wrong, they do die. 
And then next turn we can potentially just kill them, so if they even if they do block correctly. I think the smart thing for them to do, yeah, they have to like block like this. And then we cast Hex Catcher. Hex Catcher's if they attack if they animate this thing, we have to like block it, so. And removal is not gonna work, so. Then we win, so. Yeah, it depend I don't know what they could have drawn here, like, that's going to save them, but I think we've got this. Like, they can make two tokens here, but then we're still attacking them for lethal, even if they block two things. Because they need all five mana for this. And they also need all of their mana for this. So, that ha a lord was definitely the draw we needed right there. Okay. I don't know what exactly their plan is right now, but I don't think it's going to work. They have one card, right? So, uh, if they animate this thing, block, bolt something, I don't think it matters. Yeah. Alright, we got there. That was surprising. Like, Skelemental is a sweet card and, like, very nearly killed us. <laughs> but we were able to just sneak it. That, that Relic off the top was just, like... Oh. Look, I guess, to be fair, if we get to draw Relic off the top then as, like, our best draw, then, like, Skelemental was pretty high on the list for them of, like, stuff they could have drew that turn, so... And it just came down to, like, we... We had a hex catcher, and then they didn't. Ha they missed their one draw to like try to answer it back. So it's uh, it's a little bit tough for them, but it's okay. We take these. This is fine. Very. I think that's also going to be a, a pretty hard match, but probably not quite as bad as the scam version. So there we go. We're at three one. It's pretty sweet. Means we're getting our money back in this league at least. And I think we're we're ahead of where we normally are in this schedule for this, so we're at like an hour and twenty two minutes. We have one match left. We're playing pretty quickly. All right. Uh, I love this background. This. This you have no idea how much work it was to get this set up, but now that it is, I am in love with it. And I figured out a way that like I don't have to break it down. Like even though I have limited space in here for this, like I can keep it assembled and mostly out of the way. So there. Uh, all right, we are on the draw, but I think we're gonna keep this. It's a hand that like has cards that we can place and. Usually we can't afford to mulligan those. Oh my god. Are we up against fucking goblins? Like, what is this tonight? We are, like, just getting so many, like, red decks that just hate us. <laughs> goblins is, again, like, really, really bad for us. We're... They have the ability to combo kill us out of nowhere, and, like, they're, um... What what's his name? Munitions expert is just devastating against our deck. This is so bad. <laughs> okay, cool. Mog fanatic is a guy. All right. Like I can play Lord here, and it's not really good for me. Like none of these things are good for me. Like. I don't know how we're going to deal with this. Uh, if I play the Silver Gill, this thing's probably going to kill it, but I guess that's... It could be worse. The other thing is I could play the Aether Vial, but I'm not... I think I'd rather wait till next turn to do that, so... Oh, God. I, I can't afford... like. I don't think I can afford to throw the Lord away just yet. I need to keep this a little bit longer. Like, I don't know. The problem is going to be if they, like, 
have a bolt or if they have munitions expert then the lord is a really bad play here but the silver gill itself is like at least it trades with this thing that's not fantastic for us but it's it could be worse all right i will show them another silver gill they're going to be doing like a little happy dance now because they're like oh my god merfolk this is like a free win can we stop drawing mana sources please like this is not particularly helping us we need beef beef is the only way we can potentially win this so many ways this can go wrong for us now oh my god yeah this is one of them they're just gonna find like the worst possible thing for us to deal with now like horde master okay Whenever it, yeah, this is the new card that they got, which uh, basically just lets them play their entire deck. Um, I have to kill this thing. It's going to kill me anyway, so like... Other goblins get plus one, plus one. Whenever that or another goblin he controls dies, you get to exile the top card. And if it's a goblin creature card, you can cast it until the end. Yeah, so... They can just like cycle through so many cards on top of their deck. It's insane. This Force of Negation is a very, very bad draw. Does nothing for us. Okay, um, I guess I just have to play the Lord here, and... I guess what's gonna... No, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Because it... I can play the Silver Gill Adept in the Vile. They don't have another Fanatic in play now, but... I need to draw more stuff. Fuck that. No, that's not what I need. Like, I have enough, like, useless cards right now. I need more actual gas. Uh, yeah. This thing is going to be very difficult to deal with. Yeah, that makes sense. Because uh, if I block this thing, then they can just, like, sac... I guess, what? They can just, um... Ah, fuck. I'm going to get to cast another goblin to replace it from the top of the deck. Until the end of their next turn? Like, fuck, that's so bad. Hex Catcher was pretty good for us, but, like, this thing is absolutely, like, insane. It has to be, like, the best one of the cycle. It's so much card advantage. They can really just storm off, kind of, and it's just crazy. All right. Uh, I guess I play another Muta Vault and play the Lord... still a lot of ways this can just go super poorly what are you gonna do the longer this game goes on the less likely we are to win so we need to just attack aggressively And I mean, it's likely that they have something, but I don't think we're reasonably beating it anyway. Like, it's probably Munitions Expert, that's my guess. Yeah, they're going to kill Lord of Atlantis, and then they have some favorable blocks they can make. Which, I mean, it was kind of bad no matter what was going to happen, so... They have a ringleader and snoop over here. That's terrible. Well, I mean, I guess it's probably good for us that that's all that's there. Could be way worse. And I guess what we want to draw is another lord right now. 
Then we can put then we might actually be able to like stage a comeback. Um that might also work. Okay. No! Oh my god, alright. Alright, how are they gonna... I mean, I think they just block here, right? Yeah, this is all terrible. Um, which means I have to kill this thing right now. So they don't get the at least an extra card off of this. Well, oh fuck! Why didn't I violin the master there? I missed that. So oh my god, this no. That was so. That was so important to like keep the silver gill alive. Like I took like that's two unforgivable like punts today. Okay, well, I don't think it matters, because they just found another one, and, um, we just saw them draw Kiki Jiki, right? This is, this can't possibly, like, be good. Like, I don't know that we're winning this no matter what we do. Alright, well, I guess, I don't know, this is just a lost cause at this point, like, that punt definitely hurt, but I'm not sure that it was going to make a big difference. Okay, we have one more chance to try to do this. Yeah, that's ringleader. I don't think it matters. I think we're just dead. <laughs> uh, I can bounce this back to their hand, but it doesn't actually do anything. Still a two, four. We have seven. Uh, you know, you know what? I'm not technically dead yet. Alright, now we are. They, of course, they had a third one of those, so, like, there we go. It's... This is a totally miserable matchup for us. Um, I guess explosives, we want this. And uh, we don't want force. <laughs> I guess subtlety is probably better than any of the rest of these cards. <laughs> We definitely could have played that better, but it just really looks like, based on what they drew, that it wasn't going to matter. They did just, you know, have everything. <laughs> it hurts when we make punts, but it also, like, hurts less when we know that wasn't that important. Uh, this is, like, the worst possible way to have a hand like this, because we can only play these on one, and we have two fucking one-drops of this. I can't keep that hand. This is way, way better. We can definitely keep this, and we'll just get rid of... Uh, I guess, like... Island? I don't think it matters a whole lot. Um... If I play this right now... I don't... I don't know, like, if I should. So they're probably just not going to play the ones. 
But I'm not going to, like, have a better time to do it later this game, so, like, I probably need to, because I do want to curve into Spaloon if I draw my third land, so... I'm just going to have to do it. Yeah, like, they might not want to play Prospector and just have it die, so... And I don't need to play anything here, so I can just pass. This does not look terribly good for our dear hero. <clears throat> Here's goblins. What do we got? Conspicuous Snoop. Okay. Doesn't actually do anything. Um, probably just have to play another Trickster. Okay, so there's Bogart Harbinger. So they're just going to try to go for it this turn, but... Um... Okay, so I, I'm just trying to think. If I tap this thing before they do this, it gains the abilities of Kiki-Jiki, right? If it's tapped, it can't use them. If I understand how this works correctly. They might still try to put Kiki on top just because it will let them win on their upkeep. And if they do that, then it's effectively a dead draw because I'm going to dismember it on my turn so that I don't die. Okay. So it has those abilities, but it can't tap right now. So I just attack with everything and then dismember that. See if they want to block with the Harbinger first. I guess they're just thinking they're going to win here. So they're just not blocking. But now we have to do this or we die. Now they're going to draw Kiki, which they can't actually play this turn, and their Harbinger doesn't look very smart, so... There's a Matron. Okay, so what are we doing with this one? So they have a Kiki that's in hand that they can't use right now. There's a Mog Fanatic. I guess they're just going to play it and uh, just kill off the Hex Catcher. That makes sense. They'll probably do that right away, I assume. Yep. Alright. Uh, I think we're just attacking. Like I don't really care if they block, and then we're just going to play Spaloon. Okay, we have done the best that we possibly can so far. So we're down a game versus Goblins in our last match. Uh, right now we're 3-1, and one, but Goblins, yeah, like I said, this is game two and we lost the first game. They have attempted to combo our face off here, and we have evaded it once. Because we were able to set up a sick line with Trickster and Dismember that we did not just die. However, they have now hard cast their Kiki Jiki, and that is going to be a problem. Uh, so, how is this going to work here? They're going to probably just copy Matron here, right? And then they can block with a token. 
I guess I could have played the Tide Shaper first. I don't know if I was going... To, I, I assume that, I'm, that I would probably want to have this be indestructible. I don't think it matters. They're just... Yeah, they're just doing this. Um, I... They revealed Munitions Expert with this, so that's pretty good. Um, I assume that whatever I play here, Munitions Expert is going to kill. I don't think that there's any possibility that I can set up a line where I win with, like, Island Walk next turn. That doesn't seem likely. If I play Tide Shaper to turn the... Whatever I... Basically, one of these two creatures, whichever one I play, is going to die. So... Because they, they have an expert to kill off one of them. So, in order to do everything I would need to do next turn, I have to have an extra... I'd have to have another land and another card. And I don't think that I can get that. So, what lines do I have available to me to beat the expert? I mean, playing the Lord of Atlantis... I don't know if, if doing it now makes a whole lot of sense. I guess if I, like I said, if I play the Tide Shaper here, I can like make it a 2-2. But they will just kill it. And the other option is I could play Tide Shaper and Lord of Atlantis. Not have Islands Walk at all and just try to go wide. I don't think that matters much either. Because they're going to, like I said, they're going to play Expert... Well, no, it doesn't matter, because what's going to happen is they're going to play Expert, and then they're going to Kiki-Jiki and copy Expert, so, like, they can kill off two creatures, and uh, it, it's, it's going to be killing two creatures for four, so it literally does not matter, I guess. Yeah, I guess, I guess the Sveiloon gets to live if I play both of these, so that is some benefit. And I don't think that I can win without Sveiloon right now. At least now, yeah, like, the two creatures they kill cannot be Spaloon plus another thing, so. This is still really bad. <laughs> oh, they're copying Matron here. That's interesting. That can't possibly be good for us. They're doing it right now? Oh, uh, uh, do they have another Snoop here that they're just going to go for a line? Okay, they, they might have another Kiki-Jiki in their deck, so... If they, yeah, if they have another Kiki-Jiki, then we're just straight up dead. Oh, this thing that can't tap yet. Okay, so maybe not. Okay. I don't feel like this was the best way to play this turn, but, like... They're still probably at a point where, like, everything is winning regardless. What the fuck happened here? Oh, they tapped out and they didn't realize Faelun gave... Okay. I, but they could still block. I don't know why they're giving up. They just handed us a game for nothing. What were we going to draw? We were only going to draw an island. Like, that wasn't actually going to win us the game. Like... They could have actually just blocked a bunch of stuff, so they just, like, gave us a game for free on the house. Like, how do I keep doing that? I don't know! that there There's no reason that we should be going to game three right now. They literally just had everything they needed to win the game here. Like, all you really have to do is just play Munitions Expert and then copy it with Kiki Jiki and then just kill off my board. Um, I don't real what what's better than engineered explosives right now? Like subtlety? I don't know. They they haven't played a lot of tokens. I guess maybe this is worse than the draw because we can only do it for zero or one. So it like it kills the Skark Prospector and it kills like any of the tokens, but that's about it. And I guess it blows up their ether vial if they have that. But I guess the only thing that like is remotely like, I don't know, I guess I could bring in um, Subtlety, but this is slightly better, I guess, because if they go for, like, Harbinger or something, I can at least 
save myself a turn that way. I sure, why not? Maybe uh, they just mulligan to like four, and uh, that's our way that we win game three. No, we're the ones that are going to mulligan the four. All right, well, they went to six, so. All right, I guess we're keeping this. Okay, they're keeping six, so. This is not very good. All right, we put an island on the bottom and just pray. Okay. Sure. I think that... I think I just... I, I feel like I have to play the Tide Shaper here, but... I don't know. It's, there's, there's a lot of ways that that's not going to help us either. Ugh. I'm thinking about whether it's worth playing it right now. Like, we might need Island Walk at some point to win the game. Alright, I'm going to hold on to it. I don't think playing it right this... I don't think playing it as a 1-1 is really helping me. Because they, they could also just play, like, a Snoop here, and then, like, the Tide Shaper is just really bad. I don't know, there's like a lot of things, like there's a lot of things I can just put in front of this, but I don't think one is that big a deal. Oh god, yeah, look, that, now like all of a sudden they have the tokens here, so. Silvergill is not going to look very good. Okay. Have to draw lands. Um, I guess Harbinger is okay, because we can bounce a token, but... No, we need go go gadget lands. Like getting stuck on two is not gonna be the way that we win this game. Oh, uh, that's also really bad. Fuck. Uh okay. I feel like I have to just play Harbinger and bounce the stupid token. Like, attacking is not really the way to win this here. It's like, I don't want to trade with this thing. This would be, like, a really sick place for a gut shot. Because if we could, like, kill this and then block this thing with Harbinger, that would be the tits. As it is, I think I just have to take two off of this. And they're still, like, threatening all sorts of nasty things, like Munitions Expert at a very poor time. Another one of these? Oh, God. Now, this is awful. Fuck. <laughs> Vile is not really helping my cause. Okay. Um. I could attack here, but it's... Like, it's probably not that great to, to attack. I feel like I probably need to play Silvergill and just pray that I draw a land, because otherwise I'm not going to keep up with this. Uh, is it, yeah, is that going to, like... I don't know if playing a Lord is going to be enough, because they still have three cards, like... I'm not convinced that these are going to stick. Draw me an island, please. Or a Muta Vault. I'll take that. That Dismember is not really that good right now. Uh, there's Tar Fire. Sure. I should have been something, something like that. Like, yeah. They had Tar Fire no matter what we were playing that was going to be bad. Uh, definitely playing, like, I don't know, I think playing Vile was, like, just asking for too much. Um, okay, I, I cannot let them do this. This is, this is, uh, this is way too much, uh. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to subtlety this thing. Like, I there is no fucking way I can let them just ringleader me right now. I'm taking seven damage from this. This is awful. I mean, I guess that's one way to go about this. I go to five and then I have to like... They're almost definitely going to try to cast this thing again. I can dismember this one thing. They'll exile the they'll exile the ringleader and like no matter what they draw, like 99% they're gonna cast it. So maybe it's just worth playing the tide shaper here. Like I I attack them, they go to nine. I don't think I'm winning this race. I'm pretty sure I have to play Tide Shaper plus Dismember this turn. If I play a Lord now, they're just going to play Ringleader, and that's going to attack me for four with haste, and I cannot allow that to happen. Or I guess, like, I guess, no, I guess that's possible. I could do that. No, you know what? No, I think about. Yeah, you're right. Like that's possible. I could do this. So I, I think actually what has to happen is yeah, no, you're correct. Playing the Lord here is actually the better option because I attack for six, put them to seven. And if they go for the ringleader line to just try to, like, end me, uh, I can just subtlety it again, pitching Hex Catcher, and then Tide Shaper Islands walk my way to victory next turn. So I think that's what we're doing. We're just going to hope that this works. They only have one card left, so they might not have an alternative to this line. So, uh, here it goes. I think we got this. We found the line that works. Right, we're only attacking them for six, though. I guess that's a problem. Uh... Well, they could lose their whole board. That's also an option. So, like, I guess what happens here, I can I can put them to one and they can't block, but I think better is I think I have to play this Lord off that I just drew. And they can play a bunch of creatures, but I don't think it's going to matter. Uh, yeah, I think I, I think this is this is what we have to go with. All right. They have to block at least two things. Uh, that's not going to work. They're both going to die. And now we have Islands Walk to kill them next turn. Assuming we don't somehow die right now. Like, Ringleader is not enough. So, we, yeah, this was the, I think this was the only line that, like, gave us hope. It still might not work, though, if they have something like uh, Munitions Expert. So, we'll see. If they just go for Ringleader, like, we might be okay. Um... Okay. They can drain us for three going to six. Okay. If I play the Dismember, we're effectively at two. We 
these are all in exile right now so they they have one card left in hand so this was definitely a very good draw for them but all right i guess if we play the tide shaper on one of these lands yeah we can attack them for three islands walk but then they, they can gain three life back If I use the dismember in this thing first, um, they have to pitch everything, right? And then when they go to one, I have a tide shaper, and hopefully that's enough. I will go to two. So I'll be at two, they'll be at one. I'll have a tide shaper up to block. With them at one, like it's still really close. But I think I have to kill this thing first, so. Um, okay, I guess that works here. They can trade the two goblin tokens with this thing. I kind of like I guess this is still this still works out in the end. They they have to block it and trade with this thing. So we'll still have two creatures in play. They'll be at one, we'll be at four. Which means we're not I think that we still probably have to attack with everything. If we only attack with Harbinger, then we're risking them playing like Munitions Expert or something. Like, they have more blockers and they will be very able, they'll easily able to take away our evasion. Like, if we attack with both of these, they get they have to lose, like, uh, presumably both of the tokens. I, was, I assume they'd want to trade with this. They could keep one, but I don't think that really makes a lot of sense. Then we have two creatures and only one of them has to get through. Like, they'd have to play two creatures and, like, that's enough. I don't know. They might not be able to play two creatures. That's the thing. But, like, if we don't attack with this, we're very vulnerable to them just drawing a removal spell, and now all of a sudden we can't kill them. Yeah, this is kind of how I figured this would go down. So they go to one here. The only difference in this line is, like, we still have two creatures here. Like, yeah, I guess they're probably not attacking us. All right, they just had nothing. All right, cool. They couldn't play two creatures. We win. We pulled off a 4-1 with this. And to be fair, the Goblins player kind of gifted us that last match because they screwed up game two. But uh, I'll, you know what? I'll take it. Those were some incredibly difficult matches, but... um. This felt like it was pretty good. Like, we we played to the outs that we had, so. Oh, uh, you're sw uh, swapping forces for subtlety in the main for your 1k. I, I uh, with the amount of creativity that's being played right now, I do think we want forces in the main deck. Like, we, like we really want to have an advantage versus that deck in game one, and I just don't feel comfortable trying to fight creativity without them. I, I have beaten the deck without force in the main but it is very difficult to do so and i think that like a configuration like this probably has a much better chance of like stealing game one and then trying to find a way to like win game two or three versus it so yeah i i'm not like subtlety is really good in like specific matches but i don't think like it's not very good against like you know the creativity deck for instance but like versus like you know merc tide or like the four color deck like subtlety actually is pretty good but uh there's going to be a lot of decks like this card doesn't really do a whole lot, so. Um, let's see. Yeah, you're th thinking that they could hang on if they had the one that makes two two twos. That's possible, but uh, that they just drew it, so. um, Yeah, like, they, they just drew one of them, and I don't know if they play more than one copy of that card. I think it's a tutor target for them for the most part. They, like, they could have two, but, like. It's, it's definitely, it's one of those cards where it's like a four mana card, so I don't know that they want to, not, like, play a whole lot of them. 
And if they just played something like Mog War Marshal, where they just make like a 1-1 one, one token and have that as a 1-1, one, one, like that wasn't really that good of a line for them either, because they're still going to... That's basically like they just um, fogged for a turn, and if we draw a Lord, they just die anyway. Or if we draw a Trickster, or, you know, they, they still die. So, like, there's a lot of ways that, you know, they could have actually just lost from even from drawing, like, something like that, so. But I think if we didn't attack, then we were... If they had, if they ended up picking up like tar fire or munitions expert, we would have been in a lot of trouble. Whereas like once they have no board, munitions expert by itself only deals one damage, so it can't actually like kill off a creature, which I thought was very relevant. I did, I think I did see Svalun enough. Like, in fact, there were a lot of times where like we were just keeping hands, or you know, we had like our our mulligans. We saw like two copies of this, and it's like okay. Oh, that's still more than we nest than we wanted. Like we only need one usually. It's but I mean I don't know. It's I don't, we don't like to have multiple copies stuck in hand, and I thought that this performed pretty well. I think Harbinger is fine. Like it it did its job the way it was supposed to, but I mean it's going to be a lot better when you go play against like Merktide, which I don't know how it is that we haven't like seen that in a while. Like we played against it once last week, I think, but. Yeah, like, I definitely want three copies of this card for Merktide, because, like, this is a very incredibly hard card for them to beat, especially with Cavern of Souls. It's one of the main reasons that, like, having four Cavern of Souls in this deck is so good. It's because now our bounce spells are uncounterable, and, um, yeah, they're not going to be able to, like, Archmage's Charm or Counterspell or Mystical Dispute it. Their Merktide does get bounced, and there's nothing they can fucking do about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it felt like three copies of Svalun seemed like it was fine. Um, I don't know, like, everything else seems like, okay, the only thing I'm not sure is, like, I don't know if we need the Mystical Dispute, or if that card should be something else, like, maybe Spell Pierce, or, I don't know what else, but, I I, I do sort of want to keep it, because it is good against the four-color deck, because it does counter Omnath, like, hitting Teferi, Expressive Iteration, and Omnath, I think it's good enough for me, because so we don't have a lot of good answers to Omnath, like, Dispute is, like, actually the only... I guess that in like subtlety buys us a turn until we can get to four mana and then like then subtlety like can sort of tempo them a little bit. But uh mystical dispute for one mana does counter Omnath, which is which is a huge blowout to them. So I'm thinking about like keeping these here for the time being, but this very easily could be a like fluster storm or spell pierce or something else like that. Just not like counterspell or anything like that that's double blue, because we have too many colorless mana sources for that, so that's why we're playing like a bunch of this stuff. And I don't like I don't know, like we didn't really play against the matches where like explosives was gonna be that helpful. I think it's gonna help us more against stuff like Hammer Time, where blowing it up on zero or one matters a whole lot more. Even against like Merktide, like it can blow up Ragavan and Dragon's Rage Channeler, so that's pretty helpful, I think. Um I don't know, like, I'm, I'm not hugely sold on Ratchet Bomb. There's not, like, an enormous amount of difference between them. Like, Ratchet Bomb is a lot slower to, like, tick up if you want to go beyond one, which I don't think that I'm bringing in a card like that in if I, like, otherwise, like, I'm, it's, I'm not anticipating I'm ever going to blow up an Ensnaring Bridge with a Ratchet Bomb. Like, that's why I have Odawaras and, like, Hercules Recall, so... Yeah, and if, if I'm at the point where I need to, like, blow up, like, you know, two drops or three drops with or, or artifacts, then that's a problem on its own. So, I don't know. There, I think there are decks where we want this, and I'll probably test it more this weekend, because I will also be playing my local store championship for it. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, I'm probably just going to... I think I'm going to jam the 75. Like, this, this felt like it was pretty competent. And even though we kind of had a little bit of luck on our side... Um, Sometimes that's what you need in order to get through the league, so I think we did pretty good. I was reasonably pleased with this. And I was also very pleased to see all of our uh, fish friends here with me in the chat, because uh, we do this every week for your amusement. Um, I appreciate you being here. Uh, if you are watching the replays on my YouTube channel, Lord Magicus on YouTube, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. I try to read all the comments and respond to them, so... If you have any questions or, you know, you want to say, like, oh my god, you screwed up in this other place and didn't say anything, go ahead, tell me. Like, I'm sh I'm very interested to know anything you have to say, so. But we are now at the point in the evening where we have to uh, say goodbye, so let's go and find someone else to go and raid here, so. 
Um, I have no idea who's actually doing stuff right now. Is anybody, like, playing modern at the moment? Uh, do, 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 do. What is I see, like, vintage and legacy. Like, I don't usually see a whole lot of modern players on at this hour. Uh, do, do. wow. Yeah, like, there's not a whole lot of people here. Ah, does anybody have a suggestion? Do you want to, like, go and uh, see somebody in particular? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think anybody else... I don't see any, like, modern being streamed live, so I guess we're just going to have to go and uh, find something else to see. Oh, you know what? Yurian got banned from... Um, from modern, but it's still legal and legacy, so maybe we should go and check out that. So I see somebody's playing Yurion Death and Taxes for Legacy, so. Alright, well, I guess then we'll, we'll go and check that out. There we go. So, once again, everybody, thank you for being here with me tonight. I appreciate it so much. And then I will see you again next week. All right. And that's all we got. Well, take it easy, everyone.